This is our 2022 roundup of the best live streaming software for Mac right now. So after trying and testing all the top options, I'm gonna run through my short list of the best ones, as well as my pick for the best live streaming software for Mac in 2022. Now, as we're going through, scroll down and let me know in the comments, what live streaming software are you currently using right now? And what's your favorite feature? Okay, so there's so many options when it comes to live streaming software on Mac. You've got things like BeLive, StreamYard, Ecamm Live, OBS, Wirecast, Melon, Wave Video, Lightstream, Minicam, Zoom, EVMux, Restream, and that, that's not even all of them. So after so much trying and testing of all the top options, here's my short list for the best options. So option number one is OBS, and this works on Mac, PC, and Linux. This is one of the most popular options out there because it is open source, it is 100% free. But it also packs in a ton of features, not just for live streaming, but also for screen recording as well. So while it's got a ton of features and options and everything in there, the overall interface really isn't too intuitive. It's not that easy for say an absolute beginner to jump in and to configure everything and to get set up and going live. It's definitely possible and we do have a full walkthrough of OBS which I will link in the description box below. But compared to some of the other options that we've got coming up, it definitely isn't as intuitive. But because it is such a popular option, there is a massive community online of people that will help you if you're stuck and lots of resources and YouTube videos there to help you. And there's also an amazing library of plugins and add-ons that you can use to really help you take your OBS experience and the live streams and screen recordings that you're doing to the next level as well. Now, while there is support to go live from all the major platforms from OBS, there is no built-in simulcast or multicast feature. So if you do want to be going live to say Facebook and YouTube at the same time, you can do it, but there's nothing built in to make that easy for you. So it's possible, but it's a lot more complicated than some of the other options. And there's also no built-in guest feature if you want to bring in other people into your stream. Again, there's workarounds, but there's also simpler options. But overall, OBS is a great solution for someone who is looking for more of the advanced features or controls or someone who doesn't wanna spend any money because it's free, but is willing to spend the time to learn it and to get everything set up the way that they want. But if you don't need those extra features and you're after something more intuitive and something simpler, or you're after something even more advanced, then make sure you stick around. The next option is EVMux. Now this one is a little bit different to the previous option because there is nothing to download and install. This one runs in your web browser, meaning that it's gonna work on pretty much anything. This decision was actually really hard to make because I guess the competition here in this space of online browser-based or cloud-based live streaming solutions is quite a few, like StreamYard, BeLive, Melon, Wave.video is a new one that's out in beta, and EVMux, and all of them are very, very similar. Like literally, if you're logged Logging into the different platforms, the interface between them all is pretty much identical. I mean, yes, there's pros and cons and standout features of each of them, but I gotta say, after making this video for the last few years, this was the toughest call we've ever had to make. And StreamYard has previously been my top pick in this category. Now this isn't to say that StreamYard is a bad option. It's not at all. I'm still a big fan of StreamYard, but what EVMux has included in there now is actually really awesome. So pretty much all the options I just covered have amazing, easy to use, simple, intuitive interface that's really easy to add your webcam, add your screen share, go live to multiple platforms, bring in guests. They all make it so easy to grab an invite link and send it out and bring other people onto your live stream and even do video recording as well, either as a backup of your live stream or even if you just wanna use these platforms to record a video, you can do that pretty much in all of those as well. But the standout things for me with EVMux right now is the level of control, the level of customization that you get in there while still having it really easy to use. So not only do you get access to the preset templates of say a 50-50 screen split or a screen share with a picture in picture effect applied, you can really pick things up and scale things up and down and move them around to customize them up the way that you want them. And you can save these customizations as separate scenes that you can easily click between while you're live. So you can set everything up before you go live and you can easily switch between them while you're live. Now scenes is something that Wave Video is bringing in as well, so that's cool to see, but EVMux currently takes it further with what you can control and add in them. There's also a dedicated green room where all your guests can hang out and actually interact and talk to each other while they're waiting to come onto your live stream. And this is something that the others don't really do. While you can be waiting backstage to come onto someone's live stream, you don't really get to connect or engage or see who else is backstage with you. So I love the green room concept. You can also 
easily add co-hosts so other people can help you control and manage your live stream. It supports multiple cameras. You also have and manage multiple broadcasts at the same time. So if you're a larger company or an organization, you've got a few different live streams on the go at once, you can manage them all and run them all inside of EVMux as well. But probably the biggest standout feature for me that I absolutely love is that it has ISO video recording in here. Now this is something that you really only see in top line live streaming solutions, but what it means is that your video recording of your live stream, it's actually recording a separate video file for each one of the guests or cameras that you're having in your live show. So if you're gonna be editing your videos down afterwards and repurposing them, this means that you're not just limited to a finished recording or whatever happened live, you can actually re-edit everything together to create some really effective repurposed content too. Now in terms of pricing, there is a free plan which gives you access to so many features, but it does include the EVMux watermark and I am not a fan of that. So what I recommend and for a professional looking live stream is that you pay the $25 per month or it works out as $19 per month if you're paying annually to move up to the basic plan which will remove the watermark and it'll also unlock the recording functionality too. And then above that, there's a pro plan for $49 a month or $39 a month if you're paying annually which will give you access to more storage and additional hosts or producers. So ridiculously cheap considering what you're getting access to. So this is a great option for anyone who is looking for a simple way to go live, to bring in guests, to simulcast, to have access to be able to customize everything up, but also have access to some of those more advanced features like ISO recording, then yeah, EVMux. It's a pretty good deal. But if you are someone who's after more advanced features and controls and really wants to dial everything in and control everything, then the next options could be the one for you. The next option is Ecamm Live. Now this is one that I've been a big fan of since they first launched. It is an absolutely amazing live streaming tool on Mac. Now this is an actual program that you will need to download and install on your computer, but it runs so well, especially on the new M1 Macs. Comparing this to the other options so far, this one is probably the closest in terms of advanced features and functionality to OBS, but probably with the intuitiveness, is that even a word? The ease of use as you get in EVMux. It's kind of a mix of both of them. It's easy to use, but it packs a punch. Once again, it's really easy to get everything set up to bring in your cameras, to create your different scenes that you can easily switch between and even configure up while you're live if you needed to. There's great hardware support for using your DSLR and mirrorless cameras over USB, support for a lot of HDMI capture devices, direct connection of your iPad or iPhone, and even NDI support. Just like a lot of the other options, there is a built-in guest feature or interview mode in Ecamm as well. And you've got the ability to bring in and feature your viewers' comments on screen as well. Now, while you can simulcast or multicast from Ecamm Live, it is using external services like Restream, but apparently this is something that they are building out themselves as well. Just like a lot of the other options, you can also use this just for video recording or screen recording as well. And there is ISO or isolated audio recording. So this will record the audio from the different guests. But right now, at the time of filming this, it doesn't do ISO video recording. But two standout features for me with Ecamm, the first one is the virtual camera. This is something I use all the time. It is amazing. It essentially lets you create a virtual webcam, a fake webcam that you can link up in Zoom or Teams or really any application. And it's a pass through of what you're doing or what you have in Ecamm, meaning that you can switch between different cameras, you can bring up titles and graphics and play videos all in any other applications that are just gonna see that as a webcam. So this is a great way that you can not only take your conference calls to another level, but also run webinars and those sorts of things much more effectively and much more professionally as well. And the second one is really the amount of control and everything you have while you're live. Simple things like being able to pinch to zoom on your Mac trackpad, to zoom in on a screen share or just to quickly pick something up and move it around while you're live. Yes, you can do it in other applications and tools as well, but you're normally using clunky sliders or you have to click and drag and it's, it's not the same. Once you've experienced this, it is an absolute game changer to how you can produce and run your live streams. Now in terms of pricing, you've really got two options. There is a standard plan for $20 per month, which works out as $16 per month if you pay annually. That's gonna give you access to pretty much the core functionality from Ecamm Live. And then up from that, there's the pro plan for $40 per month which works out as 32 per month if you pay annually. And that's gonna unlock all the pro level features. Things like the interview mode, the virtual webcam, 4K live streaming, and video monitoring as well. So overall,
overall, I think Ecamm Live is a really great option for someone, whether you are an absolute beginner, just looking to do simple streams, even bring in a few guests, or someone who's looking for something more advanced to be able to control and configure everything without the headaches of some of the more complicated interfaces that you have in the more professional options. I really think this is a great mix of simplicity and ease of use, but with a lot of the more professional features in here too. And the last one on the short list then is Wirecast. And this one is hands down the most professional, most advanced live streaming solution on Mac. While I said OBS had a ton of advanced features and controls, it does but this is really the next level on top of this. And it's actually in a more intuitive and more easy to use interface as well. Now this is really where you go if you really wanna dial everything down and control everything down to the nitty gritty. So in here you can do things like specify multiple outputs for your live stream and for your video recording for different formats, different bandwidth, different quality. So you could have an output created so you're live streaming to YouTube. You might then be broadcasting to Facebook in a different quality, different resolution, different bit rate you might also set up to do a full HD video recording of your live stream to your computer and you could also create a low quality version of that same recording as well so that when you finish your production or your live stream or your recording that you have all of those outputs automatically created and ready to go. There's also a built-in action replay feature and built-in ISO recording for audio and for video. Really making this a great all-round production tool, again, not just for live streaming, but for creating videos and recording multiple camera angles or recording your guests as well. Now, while Wirecast does have a guest feature and you have the ability to bring in guests as you can with a lot of the other previous options as well, it's a lot more complicated in Wirecast and the overall experience is definitely not as easy as an EV Mux or an Ecamm, but you do have more control, but you also need to set it up and configure everything before you can just quickly bring someone in. In terms of pricing, this one isn't a monthly subscription, unlike some of the others that we have covered. So if you're someone who is anti-subscription model, then this could be a good option because you pay once and then you own that software. So you've got two options. The first one is Wirecast Studio for $599, which will give you two remote guests, up to 4K recording and live streaming, and five video mixing layers. And then to unlock all the features, Wirecast Pro sells for $799, giving you up to seven remote guests, access to ISO video recording, and the instant replay functionality too. So it's definitely a lot more of an initial outlay, but again, it's a one-time cost instead of a monthly recurring fee. So those are my top options right now. OBS, EVMux, Ecamm Live, and Wirecast. Now from all of those, if I had to pick one overall winner, it's gonna to go to Ecamm Live. I really do think it is the complete package, the best mix of easy to use with professional level features. It's gonna be great for someone, whether you're an absolute beginner, never live streamed before, just wanna create something simple, right through to if you do wanna create your own scenes, bring in videos and animations and graphics and things to really make a professional stream. Now, if you do end up going ahead with Ecamm Live, then make sure you join their Facebook group. It is absolutely amazing, the community that they've built. So if you've got any support questions or anything like that, there is an amazing community there to help you have success with it. And I'm in there as well. So now that you have your live stream software sorted, if you wanna learn how you can create amazing looking animations and graphics and video intros to use in your live streams, then check out the video linked on screen and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.